Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game, man. You know, at the end of the day, um, I respect Tim Bradley to a certain degree as a boxer with the exception of some of the shit that he then did as far as his uh, fights with Manny Pacquiao goes. You know, um, I truly believe that Tim Bradley, you know, tanked those Manny Pacquiao fights, the last two. I truly believe that. And I don't care if Manny Pacquiao fans get mad because Tim Bradley looked like he was well on his way to beat Manny Pacquiao in the rematch. Then all of a sudden, Tim Bradley abandoned his plan, which was working, where he was just outboxing Manny Pacquiao. Then all of a sudden, Tim Bradley stopped throwing punches. It was just like he just shut it down the second half of the fight. Then in the third fight, he did that ridiculous shit where he got hit and he rolled over. And I mean, a lot of people had lost respect for Tim Bradley when he did that. And this is why people, to a certain degree, don't take Tim Bradley seriously. This is why people rip Tim Bradley to shreds every time he speaks. Well, today, this is one of these cases where Tim Bradley should get ripped to shreds. Because he's sitting up here blowing smoke up people's ass about Basile Lomachenko. It's because of guys like Tim Bradley. You know, and other people that refer to him as white Jesus and all that bullshit is why some people get turned off to Lomachenko. I'm going to say this once again. Lomachenko is a great fighter. He is a great fighter. You would be a liar if you said Lomachenko wasn't a great fighter. He is a great fighter. But when you have him like in the top 10 that ever did it after... <laughs> less than 20 fights and then you look at his resume you is laughable and then tim bradley says well he's doing something that nobody hasn't look man stop it you know at the end of the day records are made to be broken or history is made to be changed doesn't mean the person that currently breaks a record is the greatest that ever did it that's just that's just fact okay so can we stop it can we look at, for real, if you really look at Lomachenko's resume, it's not pound for pound number one in the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sorry, material. If he beats Luke Campbell, that solidifies him as a legitimate pound for pound number one. Okay, can we stop it with that? Can we please stop it with that? Luther Campbell or Luke Campbell is just another opponent. He's not an elite fighter. He's just another dude that Lomachenko is going to beat and look good against beating. Can we stop making it look like Luke Campbell is a pound for pound or, you know, top 15 in the world? Because he isn't. And see, that's the thing. Lomachenko beats these type of dudes, but then all of a sudden he's anointed better than everybody else. But then when you make a case for somebody else that has put in more work like Deontay Wilder and Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, even Canelo to a certain degree. Oh, oh, those dudes have fought. Oh, those dudes fight bums. Well, hey, let's not make it look like Lomachenko then fought murderers row. OK, can we can we stop it with that? It's not. See, you got to understand something. Tim Bradley is talking to a certain audience. He's talking to fanboys, not legitimate boxing fans. The fanboys is going to eat this up. But if you're a legitimate boxing fan, you're going to be like, nah. And I'm going to say this once again. It ain't got nothing to do with Lomachenko being uh, white, Eastern European, or being non-black. Ain't got nothing to do with that. Because if he was black, I would say the same damn thing. Obviously, you don't watch my channel because I call the shit right down the middle. For real. 
this is just absurd to say that Luke Campbell made, I, I mean, for real. But then these will be the same clowns that will sit up here and say, oh, well, Terrence Crawford uh, shouldn't be number one because he fought bums and all that type of shit. Terrence Crawford is more legitimate for being number one because unlike Lomachenko, he has been undisputed. Okay, so stop it. But like I said, these casuals hear this type of shit and then they bring it to my channels and other channels who understand boxing. And then this is how you get the situation that we have now where it turns into an ugly situation. Because of people like Tim Bradley putting that type of malarkey out there. You know what I'm saying? I believe in the merit system. And like I said, these will be the same people that say, oh, well, then Deontay Wilder, he ain't fought nobody. And say he a bum and he this and he that. But then they say, making it look like Lomachenko then fought the best of the best, the cream of the crop. That's not true. It's not true. As Mike Gundy would say, that's not true. You know, so I'm just keeping it, you know, too legit to quit. I really wish Tim Bradley would, I really wish he wouldn't do this. I really wish he wouldn't let ESPN put him in a position where he makes a fool out of himself where he take away his legitimacy as a commentator and a boxer. Because I think Tim Bradley will be in the Boxing Hall of Fame. But this is why people don't respect him. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.